I guess if there's been a time in the Dally M's down over its last uh, three years that has grabbed the imagination of the people at the auditoriums, it has been this moment when we've recognised the efforts of somebody for outstanding service to the game. This particular person has been, I believe, a wonderful inspiration to everybody. He started as a player, he went to a captain, he be became a coach, and after all of that, he then gave 100% of his lifetime to still promoting rugby league. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1982 Dally M's recognise the efforts to rugby league of Frank Hyde. Here, here. What about we get the award over to Frank and then I'll talk to him? He wants it, I'd like to keep it. Good. <laughs> Congratulations, Frank. Frank, we've done up a tribute which we believe is quite humble, but we did it in good faith. It's an endeavour to capture just some of the work that you've put into Rugby League, and we present this film clip simply with the words, Frank Hyde, thank you. Poor Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are cold. And after a slow start, you're the dashing centre in first grade. The country playing for Waratah Mayfield, and then it's on to North Sydney as an established star. 1272 SM! And good morning. He is a great monument to rugby league. He is uh, known as the great white father of commentators in Australia. And at 2SM, he rates only number two to His Holiness the Pope. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank O'Denny, boy high. And here is your host for the evening. It's long enough, it's high enough, it's straight between the posts. Frank High. I, I would be very disappointed if I would not be doing uh, football broadcasts. I would like to say on behalf of everybody in rugby league, everyone in this vast country, Frank, knows you're up for the game, and on behalf of every supporter and every player and every administrator, thanks for what you've done over your lifetime for us. Hello, this is Frank Hyde, and uh, welcome to yet another in the series The Greatest Games of All. Frank Hyde, you stand for what's best in Australians, in your love for your sport, your love for your fellow man and your capacity for friendship. You give of yourself tirelessly at all times to help others. You have a special place in the hearts of Australians. The only thing that Roger didn't have time to say was, Frank Hyde, this is your life. <laughs> and I know being a radio and TV man, you'd like to say a few words. <laughs> Ray, I never ever thought the day would dawn when I was lost for words. <laughs> I'm almost lost for words. All I can say is that most of the things that I have in life are as a direct or an indirect result of my association with rugby league and for that I am grateful. I'm very grateful for this. It's, uh, it's the greatest surprise of my life, but of course, um, Rugby league has been part of my life. Fif over 50 years it's been, even though I, I, I'm the boy with the man, I mean the man with the boy's face. Uh, I, uh, I've enjoyed every moment of it. And uh, even though I, uh, at times, feel very strongly about what's going on and I express myself accordingly, it still is and always will be, to my mind, the greatest game of all. Thank yeah. you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we congratulate and thank Frank Hyde and Fred Daly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Would you welcome now Kiri Adams, the rock. Congratulations again, Kevin. Yeah.